Welcome back to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the simplest and easiest way to build your own kiddie rides. Now this is the first video in a series of tutorials that I will be making based off of all of the original rides from my Rainbow Towers park. So if you haven't seen that park tour, check out the video now. But this is Kitty Corner from Rainbow Towers, just a simple little kitty ride. But there's other variations like this one with the pickup trucks just going around in a circle, just flat, no bouncing up and down or anything. And then this one I like to call Penguin Party, where the penguin bobsled trains are swinging out as the train goes around in a circle. So just a fun variation. You can also try this with the mine cars, where they swing out in the other direction. So there's a lot you can do with such a simple ride. And lastly, this one I like to call Shipwrecked, but I'm using the dinghy slide boats uh, and they're bouncing up and down and swinging left and right. So there's a lot you can do with such a simple design. So to get started, we are going to use the Tunnel of Horror. So you're gonna build the station and then a sharp turn. And then I like to use the spinning tunnel. You don't have to, but it gives a slight excitement boost and makes it easier to keep the track invisible. So you're just gonna make a circle with the spinning tunnels and then connect back with the station, add the entrance and exit, and then we are good to go. Now I'm gonna make the entrance and exit invisible using the no entrance so we can see things better. Now I want to change the vehicle type, but it won't let me, so we need to turn on the cheats. So turn on show all operating modes, unlock operating limits, allow arbitrary ride type changes, show vehicles from other track types, and disable vehicle limits. Now we are able to change the vehicles to horses. That's what we want to use. And it gives you a nice 5% excitement bonus. Set it to one train with eight cars per train. And then now we wanna change the operating mode to powered launch passing station. And I'm gonna set it to six miles per hour. Now I'm going to put the ride in test mode to spawn the vehicles. And now we have our horses going around in a circle, but they will only make one revolution. We need to change the number of circuits, but it won't let us in Tunnel of Horror. So if we change the ride type to something like the mine ride, now the vehicles sit up a little bit higher, but we can change the number of circuits to five, for example. And now because it's higher off the ground, if you wanted, you can take some scenery block objects and you could build a floor if we turn on disable clearance checks. So I could build a little base of the ride here. Now with our working ride, we can check out the stats and they are very low, but again, it is a kiddie ride. So that's to be expected. If you'd like, you can change the ride type to submarine ride and the vehicles will sit lower. They're just above the ground but it will give you slightly better stats, but not by much. However, it won't let you change the number of circuits. So if you wanted to change the duration of the ride, you need to change it back to the mine ride to be able to update the number of circuits. And the mine ride stats aren't that much different. Now we are going to use the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin. If you don't have it, the link is in the video description, but we are going to select the ride and then change the visuals up here to something like Cheshire Cats. And then if you hit here, apply to all vehicles on this train, we have eight little kittens going around in a circle. So we have a nice kitty ride here and that's all there is to it. But if you want, you can change it to the mine cars and then hit apply. So here's a different variation. I like to even speed it up sometimes to maybe nine miles per hour. So the cars really swing out a little bit more. But if that seems too intense for a kitty ride, you could always drop it down to six miles per hour like we had it but my absolute favorite vehicle to use for this ride is the penguin trains from one of the expansion packs. So if we hit apply, now we have a bunch of penguins just swinging back and forth, going around in a circle. I just think it looks really fun and silly at the same time. So basically just by changing the ride vehicles, we have now seen three different versions of this ride, but for another variation, we can actually change the ride type to the monster trucks and then I'm going to hide the scenery and then we can close the ride and then replace these tunnels with the log bumps from the monster trucks. So if I do that really quickly, now we have a new version of the ride and I'll go back into the edit ride vehicles plugin, change it back to mine ride and then let's change the vehicles to the cats again. So now we have the kittens bouncing up and down except for the station track piece, but we can also try something like the Carnival Frogs from one of the expansion packs. And then there's one of my other favorites. If we change the vehicles to the dinghy boats, 
now we have quite a chaotic ride where the rafts are bouncing up and down and swinging left to right. It actually looks really fun. And all that's left to do now is to make the entrance and exit visible again. And if we open the tile inspector, we can now select the exit tile right here and click on the exit, hit copy, delete, and then we'll select this tile here and press paste, rotate it twice and hit make usable. And then now we can go back in here and make the entrance and exit invisible. And actually you could move the entrance and exit wherever you like with the tile inspector, but build your path and queue and you're almost ready. But back in the tile inspector, I need to select this station piece here and make that track invisible. And now we can just add some scenery and the ride's ready to be open. So basically you can build this ride, you know, through two, three, four, five times in your park and just using different vehicle types and whether or not you have log bumps or not, you can have so many different versions of this kitty ride. So super versatile. And what's even better is that you can actually just save the track design and then plop it down wherever you want, use it in scenario play, whatever. And then when we want to build it, you just go select the mine ride, plop down the ride wherever you want, and then if we look at the entrance and exit, for some reason it saved where I had placed them using the tile inspector, but we can change it to the submarine ride, for example, and then spawn our vehicles. Using the plugin, we can change them to something like the dinghy boats or whatever you'd like. And then it's not moving because we need to up the launch speed. Now I'm gonna change it to the mine ride just to double check what the number of circuits is set to. And it looks like it saved it as five, but you can change it to whatever you'd like. And that's all there is to it. But if you'd rather just download these tracks, I have links in the video description for a version with and without the log bumps. So it makes it even easier for you. So let me know in the comments which version of this ride you like the best and make sure to subscribe because next time I'm going to be showing you how to build this giant slide with multiple stations but only one queue line. So stay tuned for more.